Hello, this is Steph here with a tutorial on the basics of playing the piano. First of all, I want to point out this is a upright piano as opposed to an electronic keyboard or digital piano. So if you have a keyboard at home, most of them are quite a bit shorter than a piano. They normally have about 61 keys or less. So I'm going to open the lid now with my upright. On the bottom there's three pedals. The uh, one on the right is called the sustain pedal. You don't want to sustain the sound. So I'll give you a demonstration. Some pianos have it, it's called the practice pedal. If you press it down, it'll actually mute the sound. Okay, now taking that off. And then the one on the left, which I'm not going to demonstrate today, uh, it's called the shock pedal. And that's used for uh, a lot of advanced repertoire, more for those who are on the very high level playing skill used to mute the strings ever so slightly, give it a softer tone colour. So I'm going to show you where the notes are now on the keyboard. The one that I like to teach first is start with the note C. If you look on the keyboard, there's Groups of black notes, so you have groups of two, and then groups of three, and then another group of two, and then another group of three, going all the way up and down the keyboard, but until you get to the very end, and then there's a couple of blank bits that are strain up there. So we start with the note C, up on there, which is to the left of the group of two black keys. And no matter which group of two that you go to, whether it's this lot here, it's always the notch C, and same with this one here, and that one here, all up the keyboard as well. If you look in the middle of the group of two black keys, you will have the note D. And then if you look on the right of the group of two, it's the note E. We also have to the left of the three groups of black keys, so these three here. So if you look on, down the left here, we have the note F, followed by G, and then A, and then right to the right of this last key here with the note B. And that's how it goes, right up the piano and down the piano. Unlike the normal alphabet, we only have a couple of notes in ours. So starting on C, it goes like this. I show you, so C, D, E, G, A, B, and C. And then it just repeats. And all the way up the keyboard. Uh, for the purpose of, of this tutorial, I won't cover the black keys at the moment. But if you want to do some experimentation at home, you can. Because just about anything you play on the black keys will sound quite good, no matter what you play. So let me give you a demo. your own little melodies and things if you'd like on, on the black keys and you can even add a bit of your left hand as well if you'd like as well just for a bit of fun and experimentation so now we know where the notes are on the keyboard I will show you the finger numbers that they call it 
child. But you can think of your thumb as always the number one on both your right hand on your left hand and then you just um, count up. So with your right hand you put your thumb on C and your thumb we always call it number one. Then the next finger is two, the next finger is three, the next finger is four, and the next finger is five. And the same with your left hand. Your thumb is number one. I put on C just to ease of remembrance. And that's one. And then the next finger is two, the next finger is three, and then four, and then five. Now it feels weird when you first do it because you, you feel like your hand is sort of going backwards from your thumb, but that will become better with time. So one of the first exercises I give my students, I have you place both your thumbs on the note C, and of course the thumb is uh, finger number one, and then you go up and down. So you have one, two, you remember your finger numbers and then you can do that on other notes as well. So the note A for example, just A. So one, two, and over time you'll get used to it and you get used to how the fingers feel on the keyboard and things like that. So there end the tutorial. I hope it was helpful and bye for now.